Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll go with the one more concept in Pandas that is uh, applying the mathematical operations or mathematical functions on series, right? So mathematical operations. See, when the name comes from mathematical operations means first we will know about these arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, okay, modulo, power and relational operations like less than, greater than equal to okay so these are the few mathematical operations that can be performed on series so before applying them first we have to get two series we have to create two different series and already we have seen the uh, session like how to how many ways we can create a series and how to create a series and uh, using one among those approaches we can create multiple series two different series and we can apply these mathematical operations on those series so let us take here some s1 is equal to okay so some pd dot series of let us take some 10 20 30 okay and similarly s2 is equal to some pd dot series 40 50 60 okay so s1 and s2 are the two different series and for addition we can go with the a dot add of sorry so consider two series so s1 dot add of s2 automatically the elements will be added and a new series will be created a new series a new copy will be created so s1 and s2 will not be impacted so a new series will be created and similarly for this one s1 dot subtract subtract s2 similarly s1 dot multiply s2 similarly s1 dot divide s2 similarly s1 dot mod s2 s1 dot power s2 similarly less than in order to get the less than symbol s1 dot le of s2 similarly s1 dot for greater than gt of s2 equal to s1 dot equal of s2 so these are the functions we can apply and if you apply this addition two series will be get addition okay each element each element will be added okay each element will be added and a new series will be created similarly for subtraction also new new series will be created by subtracting s1 from uh, s2 from s1 right this is nothing but s1 minus s2 this is nothing but s1 minus s2 so 10 minus 40 it will be minus 30 20 minus 50 minus 30 30 minus 60 minus 30 so this will be the result for this one we, can, we, may not, we may also get the negative result, no problem. And similarly, multiply 10 into 40, 20 into 50, and 30 into 60. Division 10 by 40, 20 by 50, 30 by 60. And mod 10 mod 40, 0, 20 mod 50. Okay, so 10 mod 40, 0, 20 mod 50, 10, 30 mod 60, it's again 0. Sorry, 30. Okay, 30. 10 mod 40, 10, 20 mod 50, 20, 30 mod 60, 30. Because uh, a is uh, greater than I mean A is smaller than the B if A mod B if A is smaller than B the result will be A okay so 10 20 30 will be the result for this mod power power means 10 power 40 20 power 40 30 power 40 60 right so the power function will be applied and less than and these three things are nothing but a boolean result it will give the boolean result we know that the relational operators so these are the relational operators so the relational operators will always give the boolean result so boolean result means either true or false 
so it will give for individual elements it will return for individual elements so less than so 10 less than 40 it will be true 20 less than 50 it will be true 30 less than 60 it will be true and coming to the greater than s1 greater than s2 that means 10 greater than 40 it's false it's false and it's false so this is the le this is the gt function and equal to so both both the elements are not equal so automatically it will give all the false so the result will be for each and every element the result will be for each and every element and you need not go with all these functions directly we can apply for add we can give s1 plus s2 the same will be applied s1 plus s2 s1 minus s2 multiply s1 into s2 similarly division s1 divided by s2 modulo s1 mod s2 power s1 sorry we will go with the power of s1 comma s2 or uh, simply we are having some uh, mathematical i mean uh, exponential operator right so double star we, we represent this power as a double star s1 double star s2 less than s1 le s2 okay s1 le s2 or we can go with the this one less than greater than s1 greater than s2 equal to s1 double equal to s2 so we need not go with the function directly we can use the operator so with the help of operator we can apply the mathematical operations or we can use the functions to get the result for mathematical operations right so like this we can apply uh, these mathematical operations on series okay so if, in order to apply this one first of all we have to create the series and if anybody don't know how to how to create the series so there is a session called uh, different ways to create a series so you can go through that so that you can find how to create a series in different ways so we have to create a series and we have to apply the mathematical operations right so we'll see uh, implementing these functions one by one in the interpreter so let us move on to the interpreter hello friends so just now we have seen uh, different mathematical operations that can be performed on series so we'll see uh, the implementation of one by one so first of all we will import the pandas with an alias name so first we'll create a two series so, so so that we have to uh, perform the mathematical operation so some a is equal to so let us take uh, the series pd dot series and i will pass the elements some 10 20 30 40 50 right so i will i, I just i don't want to give any name for this one or any i don't want to change the index values okay so let us create it and I will also create some B another series and uh, uh, give the values some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay. or, or I will take this reverse 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So this is a second series. So we have taken two series, print A, so this is one series, print B, this is another series. Now we can apply a different mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo, okay, uh, whatever the thing we can apply all the mathematical operations. Now let us check with the addition, right? So simply we can go with the A plus B. So there are some uh, functions. We can also implement these operations with the help of a functions like add, subtract, multiply, okay. So like that we can also apply but this is also one process by using the operators directly operators we can apply the operations mathematical operations so if you go with a plus b the result will be this one so all the values of uh, a and b will be added or so a dot add of b so this is also one more thing this is also one more function right so we can use either operator directly or we can go with the function we can use an operator or a function right similarly if you want to go with the negative i mean uh, subtraction a minus b so that a minus b will be printed okay a minus b will be printed and similarly b minus a we can also get the negative values we can also get the negative values no problem at all otherwise we can go with a dot subtract of b 
this also it will give the subtraction all right similarly a multiply b a star b so that the multiplication okay multiplication will be done and similarly a dot multiply sorry multiply b so it will give the same result it will give the same result similarly a divided by b so each and every element of a will be divided by each and every element of b okay similarly a mod b so modulo operator it will be applied with the modulo operator and it will return the result okay it will return the result right so this is how we can uh, use the operators mathematical operations right similarly we can also go with the relational operations that means is equal to or less than or greater than okay so like that we can also go with that so we can also check for that one so a less than b so you'll get complete individual results okay result for individual elements go with the a and go with the b okay see you can observe a we are having some 10 20 30 40 and b we are having for some 5 4 3 2 1 so obviously all the elements so compare each and every element so 0th element we are having 10 and here 0th element 5 10 less than 5 false so false printed similarly 20 less than 4 false 30 less than 3 false similarly 40 less than 2 false 50 less than 1 false similarly a greater than b will give the complete true because all the elements of a are greater than all the elements of b let us consider one more function called c c is equal to pd dot one more series pd dot series and let us take a few values like uh, uh, 10 1 4 7 2 okay now compare the b and c so b greater than c you can get see individually we'll get the result individually we'll get the result if you go with the b if you go with the c what what happens so you can observe 5 and 10 5 and 10 5 greater than 10 false 4 and 1 4 greater than 1 true so it, it gives a true and 3 greater than 4 oh sorry uh, 3 greater than 4 false similarly 2 greater than 7 false 1 greater than 2 false so individually it will give the result similarly go with this one b uh, less than c obviously except the first element all the remaining elements are less than c okay similarly b is equal to is equal to c so all are false let us take some d is equal to okay some d is equal to um, let us uh, let us create one more series series of give the array 5 4 3 2 1 now you can observe c is also uh, sorry uh, b is having the same elements and similarly d is having some same elements so d is equal to is equal to uh, b it will return true so whenever you are comparing two different values each and every element will be compared and the result will be given right so this is how we can apply so a dot eq of b or uh, d dot eq of b so this will give the equality similarly a dot le of b that is nothing but less than a dot gt of b that is nothing but a greater than okay le means less than gt means greater than so these are the different functions we can apply and also we can we'll go with this uh, uh, this one so a double star b that is nothing but a power power function okay power function a dot power of b automatically will get the power okay a power b each and element of a will be powered with the each and element of b right so this is how we can apply different mathematical applications or operations so directly we can use the operators or we can go with the functions so in two ways we can apply the operations so these are the mathematical operations so uh, hope you understood this uh, operations in pandas
So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.